Okay, guys, round two, ready to roll. All right, our bulk systems are in, so now we need to start working on the sortable units. So uh, I am going to bring out the solid stone again, because we're going to use that for building. Okay, um, what else? We'll get rid of these. Uh, whoops, let's bring those down. We're going to need these later. Uh, we'll bring these down, we'll bring these down, and uh, we'll bring those down. Okay, so to get us started, we need to create some little platforms that our redstone stuff is going to be attached to. And uh, similar to the way we did the bolts, we're going to need five of these, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to come in between the right two bulk units, okay? And you're going to look up here, and you can see that we have the comparator here. Well, there's a piece of redstone right above this stone. And if you use your mouse, you can come up and you can actually hit, see that? Hit the little redstone boundary box, okay? So I'm going to take my clean stone and I'm going to place one block right against that. I'll add another one here. And these need to come out six. Two, three, four, five, six. And you can see we're only one block away from the edge. Okay, so there's our platform. So we need to add five of these, all right? So that was one. I'll add four more. Okay, so we've got five, five little platforms in. We've got five sortable units and five little platforms. All right, so I'm going to hop out of the hole. We'll come over, and again, we're only one block away, so I can just jump down here. So now we need to work on these platforms a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in two more blocks to the front end of this on an angle, just like that. Okay, so one up here, one over here. Ah, bummer. I think I don't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I hit I do. Um, I'm just going to add some more. Add some more ladders over here. Okay. Okay, so now we can do some of the redstone here. There's going to be a dot of redstone right in this little hole right here. And then there's going to be our special repeater. All right, it's coming out of this stone facing the back end of the platform. This is our special repeater because it's the only repeater that we have to set to the maximum four ticks. And we're going to do that on all of them. Every other repeater in this build is a standard one tick repeater. But this one needs to be slowed down a little bit. This is what's going to create the clock that's going to... Uh, help us do what we got to do, okay? All right, so the next piece is, uh, let's see, let me get this right. There's two pieces of redstone back here, okay. So coming out of this four tick repeater, you got a piece of redstone, two standard repeaters. It'll feed into this redstone over into another repeater so it's creating a little loop right here. You see that? And then here, we're going to put some droppers. Here, we're going to have a comparator that leads into this block. Okay? So it's going to be a loop. It kind of runs back and forth. Okay? All right, I'll do one more with you, and then I'll do the other three off camera. So you got your four tick repeater. You got a bit of redstone. Two standard repeaters. Redstone that'll circle you around. Another standard repeater. This will be where droppers go. And a comparator here. Okay, here it is without movement. And we need to do that three more times. So I'll do that and then I'll be back. Okay, there we go. I just finished the last one. So before we continue, I want to point out little redstone problem that's occurring right now. This is supposed to be a little loop that 
centers around like this, right? But did you notice when I was building it, it was connecting in over here on this piece of redstone. So I'm going to come over here where there's nothing above me, and I'm going to jump up onto these hoppers, okay? Um, I'm going to come in here with a regular block, and I'm going to place a block right on top of that redstone, which will break break the signal. So this guy can do what it's got to do. This guy can do what it's got to do. Okay? And I want to do that two, three, four, five times. So remember, five platforms, five of these little blocks to break the signal. All right, if you don't break the signal, it's going to do all sorts of weird things later on. But look at this. This should be your other check right here. So it's coming out of here, swinging through, coming back in. It doesn't go anywhere else. And it should look like that for every one of these that you put together. Okay? So now I think we're ready for some more dropper work. We need to be basically standing right where this dropper is going to go. Because just like we had over here, we're going to create a dropper elevator that goes straight up. This one isn't as tall as this back one. Uh, this one is going to be, I believe it's eight. Um, so we're going to come over to our droppers. The first one I just jump in place. The other ones I have to hold the shift key down, okay? Um, I want to have seven that go straight up, all right? So that's the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? The eighth one is going to be a little different, so let me grab out, uh, actually let's make it a little easier. I'm going to grab out my scaffold in here, okay, um, and I'm going to use just a piece of dirt right there. The top one should be pointing this way, okay, and it's actually going to lead into um, a hopper, okay, so you see what I did there, and then... Um, I'm just going to use, if I do this, I'll fall, oh, I'll fall into a chest, okay, I'll do that. So I'll get rid of that, and it puts me kind of right where I want to be, okay? So it's uh, seven going straight up, and this time I'll just hold the shift key down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll come over with my dirt, I'll hop over to it, hold that shift key down, place it in. All right, I'll do that three more times. Okay, so now the dropper elevators are in. Um, not the hoppers, but the droppers. And I think what we're gonna do now is uh, use these to help us put in the chests. So again, with the shift key, starting at the top here, uh, you wanna put in, and I think I'm gonna have to jump for this top one, yeah. Two, three, four, five, and six. We want to have six double chests starting on the dropper and then uh, coming off to the right. And uh, again, with the shift key, I can add it in. Okay? The bottom two droppers don't get chests. Okay? So uh, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add in five sets of chests. Uh, to each of these, all right? Okay, so all the chests are now in. Uh, so I'm going to come back here and uh, hop back up onto this line uh, so that we can actually, I don't know if that's going to work. We'll have to start here. So now we need to put a set of uh, hoppers that point in to each of these chests. So again, I'm just going to kind of creep over to here, and uh, holding the shift key down, I'm going to jump up and place it onto the top to every chest, okay? Uh, I'll have to come over here to get to the other ones, all right? So one more time, I'll come real close, use the shift key, uh, try to jump up, get that top guy. Looks like the top two you have to jump, okay? And then uh, we'll continue after this. Okay, guys, I just finished putting the hoppers in to the last set of chests, okay? 
So now what we're going to need to do is uh, return back to our parts chest because we're going to need another set of pieces here. We're going to need these half slabs along with these redstone and some repeaters. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. We'll pop out of the hole. Okay, so all the hoppers are in now. So what we want to do is uh, I return to my chest down here and I grabbed out these half slabs. And I'm just going to use the shift key to kind of come over here. And we need to place these on the top half of every other hopper. And I think it might be easier to come down to this set of chests here. And uh, we're going to skip this one. We want one to go here, but I'm going to come down first. And I'm going to place one here, and then up, and I'm going to place one here. Okay? And I want to do that all the way across. So, again, I'm skipping that one. And, uh, come on, get over there. I'm going to put it on that one. Okay? Okay, so now that I've got those two in, I'm going to come over to the top one. And it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, I can. I think I can. Yeah, I can. No, I don't know if I can. No, I can't. Okay, so while I'm up here, I'm going to add a second one out here and then a solid block over there. I'll do the other ones from down below, okay? So it's a second one out, a solid block. Second one out, solid block. Second one out, solid block. And then um, use the ladder down there to make it so you're not going to take damage. I'm going to hop down because... Uh, I'm in uh, peaceful. So now you can get up here and you can add your second one here and your solid block. And you're going to continue doing this every other hopper. So we'll skip this one. I'll hold the shift key down. I'll place two here. I'll skip this one. I'll place two here. And then with the solid blocks, I want to go here and here. Okay, and then after this one, we're going to come down here, and remember the redstone has the little hitbox down here? I'm going to use that hitbox to place a solid block just to the right of this, okay? All right, so I'll do one more with you. So half slab here, hold the shift key down, skip, half slabs here and here, here and here, okay? Swing over to our solid blocks. We'll put one here, 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 and then off the hitbox of the rightmost piece of redstone, right here. All right, do that three more times. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to make a little bit more rearranging here. Uh, I want to bring in my redstone dust and my repeaters right here. Okay. Uh, if we go up top, we'll do the easier ones first. Up here, on this L, we want to place three redstone, just like that. We're going to do that on each one of these. On the other ones, we're going to place a repeater in here. Can I get this one? I don't know if I can do this one. No. Uh, facing in to the front end. Okay. So I'll do that up here. And then from 
slightly different vantage point over here, I'll place in the two pieces of redstone, okay? Just like that. <coughs> okay. Now we've got to try to do that with the other one. So let's do the easy one first. So we've got this one here. And I'll just scoot across. See, I fell into the hopper. So I'm going to come right out to the edge. Okay. We'll put in our repeaters, just one tick repeaters, and our two redstones. Oops. Okay, um, if you remember, this top one simply has three redstones. This one we already did, and it's got the repeater over here. That just leaves us with one more. So we're going to use another trick here. I'm going to step in the back so I can see uh, this section here, okay? And uh, see how I have eight? So if I get in here, I should be able... Well, to get it in there. You know what? I might have to do the jump. Um, I'm going to come up here so I can, yeah, I can jump in. Okay. So I want to, there we go. You see that? And um, just to prove that we did it right. See what it did? Okay. So I'll do that right on top of this little stone. Okay. Hold the shift key down jump up so you can see that uh, dropper there, right? Okay. Okay. There's another one. So you can see how, how it's uh, getting to be quite compact in there. Okay. I heard that. And, you know, if, if you're not trusting yourself, um, you know, that's fine because you can always hop back here and, you know, do your check or even do it long ways this way, you know. That's fine. That'll work. You know, nothing bad. Okay. Now there's, okay, now did you see I didn't pick up that a uh, piece of dirt, but uh, fell in the hopper and um, ended up in, oh, that one too, ended up in the uh, dirt chest. All right, and then bang, bang. And if I just sneak out here, no, I can't. All right, I forgot if I put it in over here. I think I did. So let's just make sure I did. Ooh, I did it. Okay, I'm glad I looked. Um, bang, bang. Okay. Now, the only place that we haven't finished up yet here uh, is inside of here. Uh, also down here. Remember this block we put in here? We need to put a piece of redstone here so that this signal from the clock can start to create the ladder. See? Um... And we're going to finish the ladder in a minute. Uh, we'll just get this started, okay? All right, so I'm going to come back out here. And now, huh, honestly, I, I don't have a great way to do this next piece in survival. I mean, it's it's a trick. Um, if you come in here, this one might work. You need to have access to your redstone torches. Um, the reason that we need to put these blocks in is because... You need to put a redstone torch on, oh, perfect, that worked, the front of every one of these blocks, okay? So I'm just going to do that um, for each one. I'll just kind of sneak in and you should have four, four on each one of these, okay? Three, 
four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now we're going to come back around and we need to create a ladder that is going to carry the signal up. So we got this little clock down here, right? And that clock will pulse and it'll turn this guy on. This guy will jump up here and turn this guy on, but then it'll end. So we need to create, uh, you know, to carry this down. And the easiest way I found to do this without really wasting anything is to uh, just build yourself, you know, a little column of dirt. And what you want to do here is on the top of that one, skip this one, on the top of this one, skip this one, and on the top of this one. So before I place this one, what I want to do is place this slab right below this block. So I don't want it here. I want it here, like that. Okay? And then do I have my shovel? Let's just swap this out. And then I'll just come over here and get rid of the dirt. Okay? All right, now I don't have access to get way up. But again, a trick is if I can see this block here, not this one, but this block here. Watch my numbers. See how it's 57? And it just went to 56. So that places redstone on the top of this one. Again, 55 places it here. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure it worked, I'll try it again. I'll hold the shift key down so I don't activate the hopper. And I'll just start building up. See? Good, good. And then this is the very top one, which I can place from up top real easy. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, just repeat that process. And actually, uh, no, that's okay. I think I'll do the same thing, all right? So I'm just going to fill her down with the dirt, um, just like that. And if you want, you could just do this first, okay? Not to all of them. And then that'll help in your placement of the extra slabs. Okay, so it's the top half of this one, the top half of this one, and I gotta back up the top half of this one. All right, so I'll do that to these other guys. Okay, I'm gonna check this last one, get rid of any dirt that may have been caught. Uh, the other dirts probably made it into um, this chest. Can I get it? Yeah, I got an extra four. Remember there were two in there earlier? Okay. Um, remember this one here? So uh, this time I'll do this one last. Um, but I'm going to point at the underside of the... No, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to point here at the front end of this. So I have 54. And I'm down to 53, right? Uh, point here, 52. All right, so I'll do the two bottom ones from down here. And then I can do the top one from up top. And I can also use up top to kind of peek down and make sure that the other ones work, okay? All right, so if I come down here, see, I can see all, all of them. This one here, I missed the top one, right? Because I have to do that from up here, up here, and up here, okay? And then, you know, if you want, you can look around for little pieces of dirt that may have uh, not been caught. Like there's a piece here. And you could attempt to do that, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right. And again, you should check down here. You don't want to make sure. I'm sorry. You want to make sure that you don't have any dirt in here because that'll uh, slow things down later on. Okay. 
All right, so from, from what I can tell, I believe that is going to be pretty good for the wiring for each individual module. Okay, all right, I'm actually approaching 40 minutes build time here, so I need to take a break, save this out, and then uh, we'll continue by connecting all the modules together. All right. Okay, so now that the wiring of each of these individual chests is complete, we now need to tie each of the modules together so that, uh, you know, behind here you've got these droppers, right? So the droppers go all the way up, and then they feed into a hopper, and then the hoppers attempt to see if they can put an item in each of the chests working their way down. And if I come down here, you can see that this is the last hopper it feeds into this chest, okay? So what's going to need to happen now is uh, we need a way to say, okay, what if I can't put it into this chest? Then I've got to attempt to come over and get it into this module, okay? But if you remember, uh, it has to enter the dropper here, right, uh, from the bottom, okay? So uh, for this time, what I'm going to need are some chests and some more hoppers. So here I am over on the rightmost uh, module, okay? And I'm actually going to start over here. And I want to place, holding the shift key down, one hopper that points right in to the bottom dropper right here, okay? On top of that, again, with the shift key, I'm going to place a double chest that sticks out right here. And this is going to become one of those interim input chests. So if I know that the stuff I want to put away is not located in this module, instead of dumping it into the main chest over here, I can dump it in here. So anything that gets placed into this chest will fall into this hopper feed in to this dropper and then head on up, all right? And then the last piece is right below this hopper. So if I take one more hopper, point it into this chest, you see that? So you got the hopper up here that's checking for this chest. If it can't put it in this chest, it's going to fall through this hopper, automatically feed into this chest, which will then drop it down into this hopper and lead it into the next module. All right, so one more time, we'll do this one faster. So it's basically down here, hold your shift key down, hopper into the dropper, create a chest, hopper into the chest, okay? And I'm just gonna do that all the way down. Now let's come over here for a minute. Over here, we want to do the same thing. We want to have an input chest that we can use if we know that what we want to put away is not going into any of these sortable chests. Uh, so specifically, the bulk items, okay? Here is that one. So we want to have a chest here. So what I'm going to do, uh, I don't have, I don't have a, a dropper over here to, to point at. But what I do have is this chest. So I'm just going to hold my shift key down, point at the bottom of this chest, and I'll use that to create the input. See how it's in line with the other ones? All right. And then again, I'll hold my shift key down, and I'll place in the hopper. So again, this hopper, if it can't place into this chest, drops down, immediately feeds in to here. Okay. And then if we come around and we take a look, you can see that now we've got this chest. So now this chest simply needs to feed its way in over here. So if we come over here, remember this guy, and we check this and it works out perfectly, right? I'm just going to hold my shift key down, and I'm going to bring these towards the front. Remember, they're feeding in this way, right? right to this chest. Then I'm going to come around here. I'm going to hop down, and if I squeeze myself in here, I can just 
barely see this hopper. And if I hold my shift key down, I can attach a hopper to the bottom of this chest. So it comes out, through here, and in here. And then it makes its way all the way down here. Okay?